All right, so I mostly got the old governor out of the faster today. And what I found was actually kind of fascinating and unexpected. Um, the transmission, if I look at the code, it looks like it's for an Astrovan, actually, whenever I got it uh, from a Nova. Um, obviously not original. They didn't really make Novas with 700 R4s anyways, but I digress. So I need to get the gear extracted still. That's going to suck. I got to probably pop the tail shaft. I'm going to try to do it without, but... In the end, we're almost certainly taking the tail shaft off and just popping that piece out of there. Thankfully, I don't need to pull the transmission itself out or anything like that. So we'll take the victories we get, I guess. Um, it, it was quite stuck. I don't know why. I've never had that happen before. I've done three or four of these in my day. So it's just kind of weird and annoying. Um, I guess I should be thankful that the bore wasn't stuck, which would have been a lot worse probably because I would have had to have the case pushed. But I digress. Um, all right, so I got three governors here then. Um, the one on the left is going to be the one that I'm going to likely end up going to at some point, but this is the one I pulled out. What's really weird about it is that it has D weights in it, and I'm not sure if this was a diesel governor or what, but these are the thickest weights I've ever seen. I've got a couple of uh, Caprice and Astro governors, and I've never seen a weight this thick, so that's really interesting. It also has a really heavy spring up top here, and that's another thing worth noting. And then the one in the bottom's fairly heavy as well. Not super heavy, but fairly heavy. This shifted about 4,000 RPM, even at watts. So I'm thinking that it's it's probably a diesel governor, if I had to guess. Um, I, I'd love validation on that. This is the second one. This is roughly a stock one. I'm not sure about the springs. It's been a long time since I've done springs on one of these. But and I don't really remember the colors, but the weight thickness is right for stock. So if you notice, though, it's still a considerably thinner weight than the weight in the D series is. This is a C weight. Then last but not least, if you can see in there, you can see how thin that weight is. Unlike these other ones, which have the weight riveted in, which you can see on this one here, this one has no weights on it whatsoever. It doesn't look like it's been tampered with, but there's no markings either. So I'm not really sure what that means, but um, I'm probably going to try the middle governor first and just see what happens. And then if I have to, I'll go to this one, maybe change a few springs. But in my experience, I've only ever gotten a few hundred RPM out of that. All right, next video. Catch you then. Bye.